We got to live godly lives, hallelujah. How many of you know we have to live healthy lives, hallelujah. Amen. Healthy, godly lives is Amen. what we have to live, hallelujah. Amen. And this is just what you got to read to make your Christian walk, hallelujah, the way it's supposed to be. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So many times we go our way, home way and we end up getting hurt, hallelujah. Yes. But every time we come into the house of God, we're corrected, we're reminded, we're, we're, we're taught things, hallelujah, that we've never, we've never known before, hallelujah. And that's why it's good, hallelujah, to come to the house of God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, praise Amen. the Lord. Because we serve a mighty God, hallelujah. Yes, he is. He's an awesome God. Yes, he hallelujah. is. If you will keep your focus on him, brothers and sisters, Right. Your children will begin to come in, hallelujah. Yes. Your loved ones will begin to sit beside you to fill in those empty chairs, hallelujah. Yes. But it's got to start with you, hallelujah. Yes. you got to start cleaning out that heart. you got to start cleaning out that mind. you got to start cleaning out your home, what you've got in your home. The things that don't belong in your home. The things that don't belong in your CD collection. The things that don't belong in your TV. That's why in Proverbs 1 7 reminds us the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Hallelujah. It's a rule book, the book of Proverbs. Hallelujah. I love to read the Word of God. Hallelujah. There's so many things in it that I hunger for. When I read the scripture, I ask the Lord to make it real to me for it to speak to me. Yes. Because you come to a place in your Christian walk when all you want is the Word of God and things begin to happen within your own home. Things begin to go wrong elsewhere. Things begin to go to go in a different way. But there's just the enemy trying to scare you, the enemy trying to do things so that you will fall back or so that you will get scared. But if you will keep your focus on the Lord, hallelujah, if you will put that fear of the Lord back into your life and trust in God wholeheartedly, yes. and your life back to Him, hallelujah, submitting yourself to only Him, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, God will surely show you things, hallelujah. Again, in 1 Samuel 15, 22, the Bible tells us obedience is better than sacrifice, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Being obedient and accepting God's words will make us stronger. Hallelujah! It will make us the man and the woman God intended us to be. Hallelujah! We need to come back, like I said, to our first love to be Amen. open. Being at the edge of our seat when the man of God or the woman of God is bringing forth the word. Being 